Hello goaltending students, my name is Guillaume Duclair. Welcome to Goalie Smarts. This episode was sponsored by Uber Blackout, the only ride sharing app focused on intoxicated passengers. Watch our new commercial, link is at the end of this video. Goalie equipment is notoriously thick and difficult to live with. There are multiple layers of straps and padding and it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to put on. If you're a goalie or morbidly obese, people want to know what you do when you need to take a shit. That's a great question. Just like scuba gear or a hazmat suit, you should expel all of your fluids before you gear up. Because at a certain point, going to the bathroom is going to be nearly impossible. You can't just stand there and shit in your pants either. You're not DiPietro. But your problems aren't limited to shitting. Taking a piss or throwing up is going to be a major undertaking as a goaltender on the ice. As a goaltender, you can't sub out once the game has begun. I would rather piss where I'm standing than give the backup goalie a moment of spotlight. A normal player can sub out, sneak off the ice, and ruin a rink attendant's day without anyone else noticing. Make sure you get it all in the toilet because rink attendants have enough shit to deal with. Oh, here, let me help you with that. In this episode of Goalie Smarts, I'm going to show you how to smoothly take care of business in a high pressure setting. The human body is unpredictable, but showing up with a plan gives you a much lower chance of you burning your new CCM pants. This is Goalie Smarts episode 79, how to deal with on ice emergencies. Step one, lay the groundwork. In order to successfully pull off a mid game shit evacuation, you need to scope out the bathroom situation at your rink. Does your rink have a smooth rubber floor that allows for easy access to the bathroom? Or is it a treacherous tile floor where every square inch is death to your blades? If you're up against the tile floor, rearranging the piss pads and a hopscotch path to freedom might be a possible solution. The more practical solution would be skate guards. And the fastest solution would be the wheeled skate guards that turn your skates into rollerblades. While this may not be the most subtle solution, depending on the contents of your stomach, time may be of the essence. And time might be more important than not making an ass out of yourself at the ring. Step two, try to stop the play. Once you have your emergency route planned, you need to really decide if it's worth stopping the game and leaving the ice to go do what you gotta do. Because once you leave that ice, you might not come back. Nobody wants to stop the game because you used half a bottle of sriracha sauce instead of marinara sauce because you forgot to go grocery shopping. If they have a backup with an intact stomach, they're just gonna use him. If you can manage to hold it in, you should do that instead. I would rather get pulled for letting in eight goals than get subbed out because I went to take a shit while everyone watched. I should also mention, leaving the ice to bust down the door is better than getting any of your fluids on the ice surface. Most rinks are climate controlled to allow liquids to freeze as quickly as possible. They don't discriminate against shit, piss, or your previous meal. If you're going to go ahead and evacuate the scene, I would not do it while something important is going on. Flag down the ref and politely say to him, I gotta go take a shit. He'll understand. Do not do it during a breakaway or you will forever be known by your teammates as piss pad. Step three, remove your equipment efficiently. Depending on why you're in the bathroom in full gear in the middle of a game, removing as little equipment as possible is going to be the key to a short visit. If you need to throw up, removing your gloves and mask will be enough. If you need to urinate, undoing your pants and pulling down all the layers at the same time will do the job. If you need to go number two or you're a girl that needs to urinate, you're finished. In order to get your pants down far enough, you're going to have to completely unstrap your pads, lay them flat on the disgusting floor, and then pull your goalie pants down around your ankles after that. This will dramatically add to how much time you spend in the bathroom and also add to how ridiculous you look when someone walks in on you. Thank you for watching the 79th episode of Goalie Smarts with Keon Duclair. This episode was sponsored by Uber Blackout, the drunk ride sharing service. See the new commercial, click right here. Uh, this episode was suggested by Cringe Master. Thank you, Cringe Master. If you have an idea for the next episode, comment it below. Otherwise, I'm Guillaume Duclair, and I'm out. Bitches.